Hey guys, it's Ty and welcome back to my channel. So, I said that I was gonna come in here and talk about my show and my first national show and so here I am, glass in hand, because this needed its own video. So, let's talk about it. So, first national show, super excited, prepped this entire time, was ready to get on stage, felt the best that I've ever felt and got to Orlando and I was just exhausted. That plane ride really took me out. Like I did not sleep on the plane. My flight got delayed. I was, I left LA at around eight o'clock at night. I didn't even get to Florida till about noon the next day. So I wasn't able to sleep on the plane. I just can't sleep on the plane. I don't know what it is about it. I just can't personally. And so that happened. And so I immediately touched down, went to the Airbnb, um, as you've seen in the previous video, and tried to get some sleep. But I couldn't get any sleep because I had to go pose my coach. And I missed my first posing session because I slept through it and then he rescheduled me and then I missed that one. And so I didn't even go pose until like, five o'clock at night and so um after that i just i couldn't sleep the next day so i was already still just super exhausted and by that time it was thursday because i landed on wednesday um thursday i was just so tired and i go on stage on friday because this is a two-day show which is something completely new to me right so you guys so i am Thursday comes around and <laughs> I'm chilling all day because, you know, it's just, I'm just trying to rest. I'm trying to like get some sleep in and then I go and get my tan. So everything's going good Thursday. You know, I'm feeling good. And you know, where I'm posing, I had a posing session twice a day. I go to the, oh my God, what's it called? Um infrared sauna to get like I had a lot of water weight because again I couldn't sleep I was on the plane I felt like I was on the plane for hours so I couldn't sleep and so after that um I went to the infrared sauna I got a massage and did all of these things that like I thought would help me and I feel like it did it did relax my mind a little bit but I was still holding a lot of water so after that <laughs> then comes Friday so Friday comes around right and so we don't even go on stage we're not it starts at 10 a.m. This is where, like, it just gets all crazy. Mind you, I didn't do cardio those two days because I was just so tired. I just really needed some sleep. So Friday comes around, and my coach is like, hey, it starts at 10. You don't even need to be here until noon. So I'm like, you know what? Perfect. Like, I'm going to chill. So I went to go get my makeup done at 9 a.m. Um, I was supposed to get my tan done again at 1030. You guys, this is where the chaos comes. So I go to get my tan at 1030 and right when I get there, my coach is like, hey, you need to get here right away. And I'm like, what? And he's like, you need to get here right away. They, they're about to go on for wellness. Like you're literally about to go on. So I'm like, what? So when my anxiety peaks, my anxiety freaking peaks, right? So I'm like, oh my God. I was like, I need to get my second coat of tan. He was like, you can't get your second coat of tan. You need to get here right away. And I was like, oh my God. So I start freaking out. I tell my boyfriend, I'm like, hey, we got to go. Like, I need to go get my suit because I don't even have my suit. It's still at the Airbnb. And he starts calling me like every five minutes. So now I'm really freaking out because I'm like, I did not come all this way and spend all this money to not get on stage. So now I'm freaking out. He's freaking out. My coach is freaking out. My boyfriend's freaking out. Like, we're all freaking out. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? So we go get my suit. We get to the show. Um... And I forgot my earrings, right? So I get backstage and they're like calling my number out and I'm just like, oh my God, like I was literally about to miss this. And I get in line. I was the last one in line and they go, and I was like, oh my God, I don't have my earrings. Like, where's my earrings at? So I left my earrings. I had to borrow one of my teammates and I literally made it right on time. Okay. So then, so I'm already freaking out. Like my hands are shaking, right? Like my, I'm like this putting on my, my the, the earrings that I had and I'm just like freaking out so then we get on stage and you guys <laughs> so I was really Sally come on I'm telling a really really good story right now so I get on stage or whatever Sally hey so I'm on stage and <laughs> She does not want me to tell you guys a story. So I'm on stage and next thing you know, 
my wig started to fill off. So I'm freaking out because I'm like, okay, you guys, my wig is like, it, it doesn't feel right. I feel like you can see my, my natural hair because I was wearing the wig. I wore this wig before. I love the wig. And I'm like, okay, I feel like my wig is like falling off. Again, it was probably my anxiety and it probably really wasn't, but I felt like it was. So you guys, I brought it down to like where my beanie is, right? And then I asked the person behind me and I was like, hey, does my wig look okay? Is it too far down? And she was like, no, it's perfect. I'm gonna drink to that. You guys, my wig was so far down that my pictures came out so crazy. People were like, hey, is your wig on straight after the show? Like, I wanted to cry, right? Because I was like, I literally asked someone, which was another African American girl, and I was like, does my wig look okay? She was like, you're fine. <sighs> It was not fine. It was not fine. It looked a hot mess, you guys. And that was on me because they, they didn't have any mirrors back there. So I was furious. Like, I really only went there to get national stage photos because they have a really good photographer. And those were completely ruined. And it just was just, it just was all bad. It was just all bad. So the next day for finals, I just ended up wearing my natural hair because I was like, you know what? I'm not dealing with this wig. I'm already over it. I'm overwhelmed. My anxiety's high and I'm just, I'm just over it right now. So you guys, yes, I didn't have the whole backstage like pump up. I didn't have anything. I literally got called to come back on stage. I went backstage, dropped all of my stuff, grabbed some earrings, walked on stage and I wasn't even there for... 15 minutes like it just happened so quickly so I know for next time like okay you know what just go there when it starts like that's it like I'm not playing around I'm not doing that again just go when it starts and when it doesn't feel right like it's off right like you know that this isn't this isn't just it's not meant for you right now so that was my story it needed its own YouTube video because I was furious when it was happening, but now that I look back on it, it is what it is. It's done and over with, and I just have some pictures with me and my wig on that it's all the way halfway down my forehead, and you know what? It is what it is. So thanks for liking, thanks for commenting, thanks for subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Happy New Year.